Hi everyone, so today we're going to be going over how to do the required competition makeup. Um, so first I'll go over everything that you're going to get in your box, um, your jewelry box, which will have your competition jewelry as well as your lipstick and your eyeshadow palette. This is the new one that we got for the new kids this year, but um, it has generally the same colors that everyone already has. Um, also, we're going to be using the Stila Glitter and Glow in Bronzed Bell. Um, we'll have these for everyone to use with these makeup applicators, but you can get your own as well. Then I'm going to use two of these brushes for the eyeshadow. This one is kind of just a smaller fluffy brush. Um, it's a Morphe R39. This one is kind of more of a medium fluffy brush. This one's also Morphe E30. Um, so these are two good brushes to have similar to this. It doesn't have to be the same brand. Um, and I think we're ready. Yeah, okay. let's go. Okay, so I'm going to start with my medium to large fluffy brush. And I'm gonna use this light color right here um, just as kind of a base. And I'll just get some color on there. And I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. So once you have that kind of just all over your lid, and I'm gonna use this color right here. It's kind of a medium brown. And you're just gonna put that all over the lid, but not up here, just kind of the bottom part of the lid. So yeah, you wanna find your crease and just windshield wiper motions kind of right in your crease, and that helps blend everything out. Um, and I'm gonna use this, just a, a darker brown shade to really darken up the crease. So I'm gonna use this one down here in the bottom corner. Everyone should have a, have a dark color like this in their eyeshadow palette. Um, and I'm gonna go from the corner of the crease down here up to like the middle. And you can kind of just pat it in before you start moving it around. way to think of it is kind of like a V. And you can blend it into the crease a little bit. So if there's any harsh lines, just keep windshield wiper motions until it blends. You can use a little bit of another shade to kind of blend it out a little. Now I'm going to take my um, bigger fluffy brush and get a little bit of the lighter and the medium color um, just to kind of blend all those harsh lines of the darkness. Okay. See how that kind of blends it out. Okay, so you should see that it should be darker than your everyday average makeup um, just so that you'll be able to be seen from stage. Your eyes don't get washed out. Um, also, so you can use um, the lighter colors just to keep blending out the, that dark brown so it's not so stiff. Um, you're going to be putting glitter right here so you don't have to worry so much about blending that out because it's going to be covered up with the glitter. So it's okay to have this light area right here. So for the minis, um, if they don't want to use this glitter, that's totally fine. Um, we have this color, it's called Coco Crush. Um, you can just use your finger and so you can just dip your finger in there and gently wipe it on the inner to middle part of your eyelid or your dancer's eyelid. Um, you don't need to go all the way to this side right here because you want to keep that darkness. Um, and then you can kind of just keep going over and until it is the glitteriness that you want. 
if you're not a mini and you're using the Stila Glitter and Glow, I love this stuff. Um, I'm gonna use my other eye to show you. And I'm also gonna use the applicator. So I have kind of like a little glob of it and um, you're gonna put it just like this. And you can kind of put it up to the crease and line the crease a little bit. But again, you don't want to bring it all the way to the corner. So I'm just going to pat this on here. Blend it out. Alright, so once the glitter is on, you can kind of let it dry a little bit. Um, and then you're going to go back in with your little fluffy brush. And you can um, kind of just blend Don't want to get too far on top of it because the glitter bolts go everywhere. Um, so just right where the glitter ends so you can blend it out. We'll see the crease. Okay so now that I have my eyeshadow on and a little bit of eyeliner if you want to you can do that you don't have to. Um, I'm going to do my lashes. Um, minis can wear lashes if they really can't do it. Um, just any heavy mascara is just fine. Um, so I'm going to use this glue and it's really nice because it's just brush on. You don't have to squeeze it out and deal with that. Now I put the glue kind of like on top so it can stick to your regular lashes and then also right here so it'll stick to your lid. And then you want to let it dry just a little bit so it gets tacky enough to stick to your eye and not slide off. Okay, so if you get this House of Lashes brush on glue, Molly just told me that <laughs> it changes colors to this teal color when it's ready to go on. Fun yep. fact. I like this stuff. Yeah, it's great. All right. Here we go. Now I am using my fingers because that's just easier for me. Um, you can also take tweezers and use them to pinch down. are done um, now we're gonna do the lipstick I like to use lip liner just because it makes it easier to not make mistakes um, so this is what I do I just uh, smile and, and this is obviously like a really purple color so you can find one that matches this better but this is We'll link that in the description box of what eyeliner or what lip liners would match with the lipstick color. Alright, so now I got my lip liner and um, I always brush off a little bit of the liquid lipstick that's on the brush so it's not too much. You can always add more, um, but if you get too much on there it can be a little overwhelming. Um, so get a little off and then fill in there you go so there is your competition makeup um, if you want to add some some bronzer some blush on your cheeks some highlighter that's always good um, but it's not necessary it's not mandatory um, it will be good to add at least a little bit of blush um, if you don't want to do all of that uh, so that's it